Hello and welcome to this week's exciting edition of Hashtag Nailed It. I'm Michael Lee. And I'm Tova Lee. Hey, hey. How are you? Hello, everybody. Welcome, wherever you are around the world. Thank you very much for joining us. Wow, you're in that huh? mood today. Yeah. My God. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was impressive. Thank you very much. That was Thank really you. good. Are you in a good mood? I so, so. Yeah. You're not bad for Monday afternoon, a bit yeah. cold, wet. God, is it Monday? It doesn't yeah, feel like Monday. it's a Monday. It does. Uh, it's the quite weird because the kids are off. Uh, but they're in camp. It's half God. term. Yeah. It is half term. Yeah. Thank God they're in camp. I spoke to a friend earlier and he went, oh, yeah. right, so what? They're away for all week. And I was like, no, no, they, they come home. They're not just <laughs> off. Send them off for a week. Wait, like, that's a good idea. Is there a camp like that? There must be what? half term. And isn't that called boarding school, though? Well, like not for half term. send your kids off somewhere. But there must be camps where people, they stay there and whatever. We should, re- we should really look into it. <laughs> we should really look into that. Wait, and if it doesn't exist, we should start one. Of course it exists. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No, I mean, that's, uh, yeah, so it's quite a strange week because we finished this and we're going to go and pick them up. And I know. One of them really didn't want to go. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, we're back at home. We're back yes. doing the podcasts at home with the dogs. Mm-hmm. So they've had a haircut. Not everybody can see the this. If you, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see talking. our dogs, then you need to check us out on YouTube. Yes. Uh, yeah, because our dogs have had a haircut. And I feel like we love them more when they're groomed. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be. They're basically children sitting on our animals. laps right now. Never work with children and animals. <laughs> so really. per- super professional exactly. here. Yes. So the latest news. Um, well, go on. Was no, just like I'm just oh. updating people. The latest news. Oh, was I've got genuine interest. You actually had some news. <laughs> no, I've no You're quite news. excited. Was... Really got some news. No. Same old stuff. I now, really. No wow. News. But I, it was my birthday last it week. It was uh, a yeah. happy birthday. Thank from you. From everyone out there to Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I turned 44. Yeah. I know. I feel like 44 is really the age of wisdom. I just managed to work. That I don't one know because don't they say like four is like a number? It's like a really. It's a number. No. <laughs> Like that's about bit, it. It's a powerful number. It's like the it? number it's of seven wisdom. Seven or eight. No, it's four. And like, you're never going to have like two of the fours in your, like, this is it. I feel what do you like mean two of the four? You've, you've lost me. No, because it's like four, four. It's like well, so you have five, life. five. No, it's you don't difference. understand. Anyway, no, I, I really feel like don't. it's a really amazing age. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I'm so tired though. <laughs> like, but it is. Mm. And, um, I didn't really celebrate my birthday this year so much, did I? Well, I did, but then I didn't really. But I'm going to Paris next week. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I feel well. The the trip wasn't really supposed to be for my birthday, but I've made it about my birthday. Okay. Yeah. But we went to see a really good movie. Well, we went to see the Joker, which I'm sure many many of you have seen. I mean, I didn't want to see it, but (laughs) you didn't want to see it. I kind of forced you to see it because I really wanted to see it. That's true. So I was like, oh, well, I'll I'll go by myself then. Don't know when I can go by myself, but I'll go by myself. (laughs) When can I go by myself? I think you sort of felt a bit bad. I went, all right, we'll go and see it then. Yeah, because I thought it was going to be a really um, violent movie. And I don't like violence in movies. No, you don't. I really don't. I actually don't understand how uh, age, you know how they classify yes. movies by age? And I feel like they put a very high classification, age classification when it comes to movies that potentially have sex or like bad words in there. Yes, absolutely. But not so much violence. No, you're, you're right. And I've really noticed that. I don't it's understand really... that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Because this film was a 15. Yeah. So there was 15-year-olds in the cinema. Yeah. And I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's seen it, but there are some violent scenes in it. Not huge amounts, but there are. Yeah. And I'm watching it going, I wouldn't want my 15-year-old to see this. No. I actually didn't think it was as violent as I thought it would be. It was, uh, yeah, it was a really interesting uh, movie. It I was. It, it yeah. was. It's, uh... It was nice going to the cinema again after a long time of not going. <laughs> yeah, it has been a long time. <laughs> so yep. just to tell you a little story, though. Well, I was going to bring it up. Wait, I know exactly wait, what wait. you're going to say. I will, I will okay. tell the story. So usually when we go to the cinema, Mike is in charge of the, um, how do you say? The snacks. The snacks, right? So he'll go and he'll get, and he always gets like uh, the big sizes. Yeah, well, I'm a bit, yeah, the but, but, but can, can I just say before Paul that I can just do it? Well, but I like, but, but I, I, I do it very begrudgingly because yeah. of the prices. Oh, yes, that's true. I'm, that's I true. really moan about the prices. Totally. Of, I mean, know, we're the type of people who bring their own popcorn. snacks from home when we go to like the cinema with the kids because otherwise it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. I'll make popcorn at home and take it with me, and I'm not mm. ashamed to admit it. It's not as nice. <laughs> it's not <laughs> like, as nice. But I still do it. Yeah. Anyway, so point is, he's usually in charge. 
And we went and we kind of like, we had just had some food before we went into the cinema. Mm. So we both said, oh, we don't need snacks. You know, we've had food. But then you sit there. Well, we sat there for a long time. For a long time. this thing started late, which yes. is another annoying and thing. And everybody's eating around you and you go, oh, should we, shouldn't we, should mm. we, shouldn't we? Yeah. And then uh, I don't. Mike was like, oh, we don't know. Let's not, let's not. But you kept going, oh, yeah, well, popcorn, but Should we just a little bit, maybe popcorn? Oh. And then I was like, okay, so let's just have like a pick and mix, you mm. know, just like, you know, just a bit of a pick and mix. And he was like, oh, okay then. So I don't. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, I went to get it. First time, yes, I exactly saw me doing why? It. Because I took on board the languages of love, you see, from a few episodes before. I've taken that oh, really on board. Wow. Yes, that your language of love is doing things. It kind things. of backfired on you, didn't it? <laughs> it did backfire on you. Okay, we'll get to that. So my point is that I volunteered to you go did. and yes. get the first time mix. ever. To show you that yes. I love you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That's why I was trying to signal you as I was walking out. I went like that. I was like, heart, heart. Uh, <laughs> you were no like, idea. what are you doing? Just go <laughs> get the mix and pick and mix. Anyway, now I'll turn to you. So I walk out, go get the So you walk mix. out and look, we all pick and mix. I can't believe we're talking about pick and mix. Um, we have our favourites on pick and mix. Now. We have our cola bottles. We have the little not as nice <laughs> chocolate buttons that taste of nothing. We all have our favourites. Tova came back with... The bag was so small that I didn't know they even <laughs> manufactured bags that small. It was it was the type of bag that you sort of pick up dog crap in. It was like quite small. And I was like, at first it was a joke. I thought you would bring this out and go, da -da, here's the real one. No, she literally selected about 12 pieces, like six pieces each of pick and mix. I was in shock. I was like... What, they run out? What, what, what's happened? Did, that, did they even manage to weigh that it's so light? It was two quid. Two pounds! <laughs> Cost exactly two pounds. Wow, Bargain. it was a shocking selection <laughs> of pick and mix. Never again, huh? Never again. You see, I feel like this is the trick, by the way, that men do. You know, like I feel like you've used that type of technique on me many times. You know, when you're asked to do something and then you do it really, really badly and yes. then you're never asked again. Yes, <laughs> but enough. to be fair, it's not, I didn't, it wasn't my intention. My intention was to, you know, go, do a good job and show you that I love you. But as I stood there in front of the pick and mix, I really just wanted one of each thing. <laughs> well, that's pretty much what you got. That's exactly what I got. A cola bottle. Two, two cola bottles. It was incredible. Two chocolate bars. It was like a pick and mix tasting menu. <laughs> yes. And we finished it within three seconds. I it. just want to point out Apologies that... Apologies for the background noise of the dogs. The, and the, the, the Fluffy's basically humping uh, yeah. Shoko right now. It's mm. quite disturbing since he's our uncle. Like, I don't want me to be yes. like, dark here, but they yeah. are related. <laughs> so they are related. It's really, it's really disturbing. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Get off Not her! Well. Oh my God! This is anyway, just like yeah. It's quite anyway, distracting. Get a room. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh God! Oh my God! Yes. So you know, all fun with. But you enjoyed the film, didn't you? Um, you know what? I did, but I feel like uh, people are making it into more than what it actually. So you thought it was slightly overhyped. So yeah, I think his performance was really good, but I honestly didn't like. I wasn't like blown away, blown away. I thought it was good, you know. It, it was good, uh, definitely good, but yeah. I, I, do, I think the hype is a bit... Some people go, it's one of the know. greatest classics, yeah. it's going to become an instant classic and all that. You're going, it's a good film, he's good in it, but you're not going, it's one of the greatest films of all time. I think it's a little bit over no, the top. but then again, also, the friend who told me not to watch uh, it. Well, <laughs> like, well really? I'm sure she listens to this show. <laughs> uh, she doesn't, by the way. Oh, fine, good. Okay. Well, your friend uh, <laughs> has given you advice on yeah. quite a few occasions. Yes. Uh, mainly... Um, you know, you need a recommendation for like a sort of plumber, gardener, someone to do the car, someone to do jobs around the house. Everyone she's recommended has been some of the worst handymen that we've true. ever encountered. Not just average, but shockingly, shockingly bad. Shockingly bad. Shockingly like bad. The worst. The like worst. The, 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 the work needed more work doing after they left. <laughs> that kind of thing. Getting fleeced, expensive, slow, <laughs> awful. So and every time I was like, so she recommended. It wasn't like, I know this guy, never used him, don't know what it's like. Yeah. If you want to give him a call, I'm sure he'll give you pictures of previous work. Actually specifically recommended, no, 
This guy's yes. really, really well, good. Well, now we know also not to listen to her recommendations for movies. She said you don't go. Yeah, it's she really said depressing. that she was so depressed after the movie. Like she felt so. I was like, oh, I don't want to go to a movie that's gonna, you know, make me sad and depressed. I don't like that. Like I don't see the point in it. I know. Really? And I know, yeah. That's and a bit I know, over the top. I know. I know. It's like you might be missing. So you out can only see like feel some good films. films. I know, but I don't want to be. I don't want to watch things that are gonna make me sad. Like I don't. Which is a lot of films. Yeah. As a as a as a as a way of entertainment, I don't understand it. I would watch it for educational reasons, like if it was something historical or something that's important right. to know. But then I'm not really seeking entertainment. I'm seek seeking some sort of uh, mm. education or that's knowledge or something like well, that. Well, you clearly set up you know? the film by not. I mean, the fact you the the the, the, the amount yeah. of pick and mix you brought. <laughs> clearly, you strapped yourself in, going, <laughs> "I'm not going to start entertaining myself with the snacks." <laughs> Yeah. You know. I was also prepared to not watch half of it. Yes, you know, you like, the first scene you were like shutting I, your I eyes. I said to you, I'm just going to shut my eyes when I'm when I'm not comfortable. Mm. And then that scene, the really um, the opening, violent one. Yeah. By the way, it's the sound mm. that's worse than anything. So mm. I shut my eyes and I closed my ears. There's something very annoying yeah. going to the cinema. Not, not not specifically you, but you know when you go with a friend or maybe a date. And you know they're not enjoying it, and there's that yeah. whole thing about. Oh yeah, you're sitting. Do you silent. leave? You're sitting. They're not enjoying it, and even though you're watching the film, you could just feel them, their presence, not enjoying it. <laughs> and you kind of go, do, I, do you turn around and go, you're not enjoying it? They might go, not enjoying it. I'm going to go. So you kind of, you kind of slightly off-putting watching a film with someone who's not enjoying it next year. Yeah, I've never had that. Really? Like, I don't really. No, I'm just looking. We've only walked out of one film together. Have we? Yeah. Which one? It was the new. Re- well, I'm going to say new. King it was a couple Kong. Years. No, no. no. <laughs> King Kong, what the original. <laughs> the only film we, wa- no, we, we walked out of it was it was a date night. The kids were quite young. We went into town, and uh, it was it was a late night film. We went for dinner. We were quite tired. It was the Leicester Square, and it was the new version of Ghostbusters, the all female version. Oh yeah, so bad. Why fifteen did minutes. We go it was, to see that because we heard it. Might, again, I think maybe the same friend recommended it to us. <laughs> she did. Fifteen minutes in, I just oh, went. This yeah. is awful. And I'm a big Ghostbusters fan. Wow. It was just shocking. I just went, I'd, I'd rather not sit throughout it. Let's Isn't just go. It's weird. Like, I have a vague memory of it, but not an actual memory mm. of it. Well, we didn't see much of it. Yeah. No, but I like of the whole event. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But do you, it's like, you know where we were talking when we were at the cinema, how people still go to the cinema. I'm quite impressed by that. <laughs> well, I hope you know? so. Of course. No, but really, when you think about it, like today, you get, there's so much you can watch at home on TV. And, uh, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, and going to the cinema is really expensive. Well, that's so one it's like, thing. Yeah, it's it's not quite impressive out. that people still go to the cinema because you think that would be a dying... Sort of a well, I mean, you know, thing, about, you know? I don't know how many years ago, they really improved. They used to be pretty bad. The sound was awful, dirty. You know, the, the actual experience of watching a film was far, far yeah. better no, than it's it been, is, it's obviously. Like, yeah, it's one of those things. It's you know, really, and it's really just really a shame that you know, the concessions and stuff are just so expensive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That sort of puts It's puts a weird date, though. Yes, you don't speak. You don't get to speak. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of. I think it's kind of, can be an ideal date. <laughs> if you're not too sure about the person, I don't really want to talk to them. Yeah, but or what's the point then? You could discuss the film afterwards. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it gives exactly. you like a tap. Oh god! So on the way back, we're discussing this film like mm. literally in detail, like great detail. In <laughs> this Uber mm. on the way oh, home, yeah, like funny. literally analyzing. Yeah. But what that bit when that happens? Yeah, and that every bit gets single killed. aspect, and the poor driver is. Sitting in the cab and you can see him just like rolling his eyes. Oh, the poor man. We literally ruined Well, you the said movie. to me at the end, I'm really sorry if you haven't yeah, seen this film yet. Because intending to watch you it, now know like, the well, entire yeah, film. I'm not going to watch it now. So that, that, remi- was it. That, reminds me of, that reminds me of a great story about a cab driver who was taking um, a couple, I think they were an American couple in London, to the theatre. And they were going to see The Mousetrap, which has right. been on, I think it's the longest running play in the West End, maybe in history, I don't know. And there was a lot of traffic and they weren't very nice and he was really trying. He was going up this road, that road, really making an effort to get there on time. And when he got there on time, they didn't say anything, didn't give out, didn't give him a penny's tip. So you know what he did? He rolled down the windows. They were going and went, Oi, the policeman does it. No, you have you just ruined like the show to like all the oh, everybody was. I think that? they change it, but but I think do uh, they change I it? Think they do. You're just making that up I now. Oh I my god! But anyway, is that a real story? Or it's like a real a story. Joke? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Uh, he wants you to lift him up. <sighs> Otherwise, he just nervously masturbates. <laughs> 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 it's really strange. 
strange thing when he's anxious. Mm. Yeah, I'm not the same. So, uh, <laughs> oh, come here, come here, you poor baby. What has he done to you? Come here. Oh come dear. Here. Come here. So, what, so, 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 anyway, we haven't we sort of started the show yet. But anyway, so today's show, what I wanted to talk about was, as I mentioned, our kids are on uh, half term, yes. and they're doing down the road. They've gone to this camp. Yes. And one of my daughters. Really didn't want to go. Excuse me. Was really moaning. I don't want to go. Oh, really? I'm going to miss you, Dad. Blah blah blah. And they've been before, and it's really good. Yeah. You know, we got there. They said you could do Lego arts and crafts. We're doing a hula hoop competition. There's this, whatever. So I did that awful thing you do when you hit a certain age, when you find yourself saying to encourage them. In, when I was your age, <laughs> when I was a child, I started doing all that. Yeah. When I was a child at half term, I didn't go to camp. We only had three stations on te- three three TV channels. Yeah. Blah blah blah. blah. I was bored and all, all this kind of stuff. And I suddenly sort of thought, kind of how spoilt children are that it's just quite a, for us it's kind of everyday thing. Half term, both got to work. We'll put them into camp. But how lucky they are to do this amazing, amazing facilities at the school yeah. they're doing it at. So I suddenly sort of started thinking about spoilt children. And I just did a quick Google. And I didn't realise there's a thing called spoilt child syndrome. Right. So it's quite a big thing. that It's not a medical condition, uh. but you can go to therapists with your children, for example, or by yourselves, discuss your child, and talk about... Is my child spoilt? <laughs> and what the symptoms are of someone who you go, definitely got spoiled child syndrome. What are the symptoms? I'm well, interested to hear. I don't like this. I don't uh, like where this is going, but I'll give you a few more minutes okay, before I make up my mind. So, um, excessively self-centered. Okay. I, mean, this could, I can talk, say this about a lot uh, of uh, adults. But that's what I was about to say. <laughs> go on, Because then. it can manifest itself when the people are older. Ah. That they become oh, lunatics, okay, all this immature behavior, which made me laugh because they are children. Yes, they are children. Okay. Um, and basically, the, 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 but the main, the main thing is with parents, the failure of adults to enforce consistent age appropriate limits on mm. things. You know, and we've had this conversation only last week about the, the uh, Raiders of the Lost Dark and me just going, they can watch it, you go, they can't watch it, and all these things. But it's quite interesting, and what. You know, because if if you do you remember growing up as a spoiled child in your school? I or? think I was the spoiled child. <laughs> in my school. No, really. I think so. Like I don't think I thought I was spoiled, but I think I probably was spoiled. Yeah. Okay, well I'll give you more things. Frequent tantrums? No, no I didn't have Okay, no frequent tantrums. I have more tantrums now. Not helpful. No, I was quite helpful. Never say thank you for things. No, I said thank you. There you are. So, yeah, okay, fine. Okay. Um, start sentences with I need as opposed to can I have or please can I have. Yeah. I need this, I need that. Uh-huh. You know, not being generous. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk to your parents like you're the same age as them. Mm. Lack empathy. Uh, bad sport and no filter when talking about things, which made me laugh. What does that mean? With no filter, you say things which aren't appropriate. Oh. Um, and that makes that is an indication of being spoiled. It can do. These wow. these are the symptoms. Okay. These are the symptoms. Uh manipulative, mm-hmm. low self esteem, mm-hmm. and being very controlling. Mm. Wow. Know? But I just wonder because we um um we had a great time yesterday. Yeah. With our friends, yeah, they bought a. Were you telling about the uh, the the thing we did yesterday? Oh they yeah, got, it was amazing. It was amazing. But how is this linked to? Well, because the our kids would you, would, we uh, our friends brought around yesterday the state of the art new virtual reality headset by a company called Oculus. Yeah. That hashtag uh, not an ad. Yet. Yeah, not an ad. Yet. Not an ad yet. <laughs> Should I be mentioning this? No, yes, if you well, want. I mention it now, and it was extraordinary. It really was. It was absolutely But how is this linked to the children? Because our kids, I, I was lucky to have a bloody Atari game at my mate's house. Oh, yeah, our, yeah. Our kids, very young, yeah, are playing. Yeah, but you see, like, I feel I like mean, they're that's so not, lucky. No, yes, but I feel like that's a bit, like, uh, being a bit annoying, actually, saying that. Because, look, the world has changed. Life has changed. There wasn't what there is now in the 80s and 70s. And when did you grow up? The 60s. <laughs> <laughs> Those things didn't exist. Thank so, like, know, it's not fair you. to put that on them. Like, do you know what I mean? The technology has changed. You know, we had VCRs. They have, like, I don't know what they have now. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's not fair. If anything, I think uh, 
you know, taking the behavior is more is more interesting. I thought yesterday was a great example of how I was really impressed by how patient they were. They were we actually. were taking turns, and each kid or an adult was taking mm. like a, a few minutes, sort of like go, and there was like a long queue, right? But is it? But in and fairness, not only were they waiting so nicely, they were very supportive of each other. You know, well, when funny. somebody was doing it, they were like going, oh, you know, well done. How was it? Did you like it? Like, I thought they were great. If anything, I felt like I was the least patient person. Well, again, I think you, you were I just wanted that everybody to get, to get in get adult lost life. And to yeah. just do it myself, it was but so much fun. But the funny thing is, because it's obviously, well, the one we had is just one person. And obviously yeah. it's different to a TV screen. You can see someone playing a yeah. game. You can't see what they're doing. Yeah. But yet watching someone with those things on is still very, very Hilarious. funny. Watching you boxing. Yeah. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah, but I was very good at it. Were you? Yeah. I was much better than you. What are you talking about? Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> so much better. Yeah, that was really scary. So basically, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's, bas- it's a virtual reality thing, which I know sounds super lame, but it's not. It's like mm. the most realistic thing I've ever seen. It was extraordinary. You, the first thing we did was walk a plank. You go up a lift. So you turn around. Yeah. You're, you're literally in a lift. You're, you're in a lift. And you're in a lift. lift. Like you're standing in a lift, then it goes up, and then the doors open, it's and you are at the top of a skyscraper, and there's a little plank. You're supposed to walk out, and mm. you see... The street below you, this is like a 40-story type of building. And I swear on my life, it's so real. It is amazing. It's so scary. I was like petrified. And then we did another one that was flying. The flying was fun. When I finished the flying session, I was dizzy. Like I was disorientated and dizzy and you're standing in one place. Like you haven't left your room. It's insane. Mm. And then the boxing one was basically just a boxing game. Yeah, but it's not just yeah. a boxing game because when you've got the thing on, you turn left to right. Yeah. There's a whole audience, there's a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. crowd there. Yeah. You you you're in a ring. It's 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 not like the old games where there's just something in front of you and duck punch. It's incredible. Yeah, it's totally incredible. I feel like, though, we were thinking of maybe getting one of those for Christmas. Uh, mm. Literally, Mike was like, oh, for the kids, maybe. And I was like, no, not for the kids, for me. Because, <laughs> again, I have quite an intense, like, uh, in, uh, intense, not intense, in, in something, in, like, elaborated, but another word, in, there's something within. Okay. Something, list. In list. No, something list, in Oh, I can't think of the word. So anyway, I have a very long list mm. of things that I really want to do. Oh, okay. And places that I want to visit. Bucket list? And it's, yeah, but I feel like uh, realistically, I probably won't get to do a lot of them. Oh, I see. And what I like it, about the idea of the virtual reality is to go to places. Because you can go to around yeah. the world. You can literally go and do stuff Trekking like the Seven and, Wonders or, mm. you know, I know there's nothing like really being there. Mm. But, you know, not everybody can travel around the world to see you know, different places. Do you know what I mean? There's like money, time, blah, 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 whatever. It's fantastic. However, I feel like it can get so addictive. Yes. So addictive. Well, you can easily just spend two, three, four hours. Literally. But that's the same with video games. Kids playing Fortnite and, and whatever. Yeah. You know, it's it's the same, really. It's true. It is yeah. is inc- is incredible. Yeah. Cause honestly, the adrenaline that I felt yesterday, uh, when I was doing the plank one and the flying one, mm. there was my heart was like really pounding, you know? Well, I was knackered off the box. Yeah, and adrenaline is addictive, you know? Like you can be become an adrenaline junkie. Mm. So like I feel like uh, if we do get it, you need to limit my use of it. <laughs> I'll try, but I know what happened. No, no, one more minute. No, 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 finish. One more minute. No, 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 go behind the score. One more minute. <laughs> then you'll walk in and I'm just like in the living room. <laughs> Maybe we should both get one <laughs> at the same me. time oh, yeah. in different parts of the house. <laughs> just want to get the people walking past, walking past the window. What are those two doing? <laughs> they look utterly bizarre. Yeah, in the garden. Yeah. Just like walking in the garden. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because there's like a space one. Space one's good. Yeah. Like floating in space. I mean, yeah. who doesn't want to float in space, you know? Exactly. Yeah. No, it, it was it was pretty good. It was uh, extraordinary. So how does this link into the spoilers? Uh, absolutely no. No, I was just I, I was trying to link it with what we did yesterday, yeah. but nothing about spoil. But I just think I don't know about. I think most parents go through that thing about do we give the kids too much? Mm. Not just material things, but do we give them too much time? I remember when our our first child was a baby, or a baby, but you know, quite young. We used to take her to like every sort of class. Yeah. Remember, like, you know, swimming, soft play, mm. this singing class. And then when the others came in, I was like, it's too much. It was almost too much. Mm. They don't need it at that, that age. Yeah. But as a parent, you feel like you have to give your children 
as much experiences as possible. Yeah. And you start doing these things. Yeah. As opposed to, you know what, just let them just play <laughs> by themselves and actually yeah. build their own, you know, their own imagination and, and stuff. I don't know, like, what spoil actually means, to be honest. I feel like different people uh, see it as a different thing, you know? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, some people, I don't know. What is what defines spoiled? Is it just somebody that gets a lot of stuff? But for most maybe, people will think yeah, being spoiled is someone's got designer clothes. No, but you see, I for me that doesn't necessarily mean that they're spoiled. Really? Yeah, no, I don't think how much a person has or how much they're given def- necessarily makes them spoiled. I think it's their attitude towards it okay. is what makes them spoiled or not. That's fair as enough. one indicator, okay. you know. Somebody could just have a lot so they know they're, they're wealthy, lucky but do they know that they're lucky? Are they yeah. grat- are they humble grateful for it? it? Yeah. Are they humble about it? Like, do they? Do mm. you know what I mean? Like that to me, it's not their fault if they have a lot. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't. It annoys me when people say that. Mm. You know, um, but from the list that you said, um, I don't think our kids are spoiled. Just like no, I a don't couple think of items are. were slightly worrying, but generally speaking. But I'm, I'm. Where did you get this list, by the way? I looked it up. Oh. No, it's because it's, I said it looked up because there's oh. this thing called spoiled child syndrome. So I was mm. just looking up about people who go to therapists and what they yeah. talk about and what therapists, these are the things they'll bring yeah. up to say, is your child that d- does or any of these things? I also like, it's weird to me that they use the language I need because I actually mm. think like, I think maybe it, there's a difference between I need and I want. You know, when kids go, I want, I want, I want. Yeah, like, I need is a real, I really need. Yeah, but then, okay, like, yeah. sometimes, like, but I actually think, like, people don't talk about their needs. Obviously, if they're saying, I need a Gucci bag, that they, mm. nobody needs a Gucci bag. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, to actually think about your needs is good. Mm. But I guess, what are the needs? Like, what are they saying they need? Anyway, that was the portion there. There <laughs> the we are. The parenting portion from us. Exactly. I'm sure you don't loads out there. Loads, loads. Amazing. You know? Well, yeah. this was fun. Yes, exactly. How yeah, I really, oh, okay. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Thank you. It was good. Yeah. yeah good by the way, any and any feedback on last week's show? Last week's show was lots of fun. It with was with guests. honestly, it it crashed the charts. Did it really? No. <laughs> I got quite excited then. Yeah, it's know. a very funny show. It was a very funny show. You haven't listened to last show. week's show. What was it called? Last week's show? Uh, we were having an orgy. We oh, had an orgy. Yeah, yeah, very funny show. If you Basically, to. I just want to point out, I have I'm spying on other podcasts, and I have noticed that people just give like uh, uh, titles to their podcasts that have absolutely nothing to do with the actual episode. Yes, and we are probably the only uh, podcast out there that actually gives titles that are related to what we talked about. So last week, I tried a different approach. Yeah. <laughs> just calling that we had an orgy. Did it make any difference? Not really, because <laughs> Facebook doesn't like the word orgy, oh, so that's kind of like backfired on me. So yes, yeah, I, I need to I need to improve the titles of these episodes. Yes, but last week was amazing, and if you haven't listened to it, you really should. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not saying it to you, by the way. No, you I, 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 listen, I listen back. He never listens back, by the way. What made you listen back last week? Because I remember the time going, this is a really funny show. Is it funny when I listen back to it? And was it? And yeah, it was. It still made me laugh. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Definitely. <laughs> we should have more guests then. We, I think we should have more guests. We should. Or maybe we pretend to have guests, but it's you doing your wonderful silly voices. I could do characters. Uh, oh, no, please don't. <laughs> please don't do characters. <laughs> Oh yes, no, I please. shouldn't have mentioned it. I'll bring down all my wigs. I can do yeah. all two accents. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes and follow us and also leave a review. Be nice. on Spotify. So Spotify is follow, uh, iTunes is subscribe. Okay, yes. very good. And, and we'll be back next week? Yes. Have a great week. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.